This post has been updated. But can it run Crisis? Maybe a 13-year-old meme, but it still manages to get an occasional laugh, not least because it still applies to plenty of modern machines. Now, gamers are getting a second opportunity to test their hardware limits with Crisis Remastered, released tomorrow, September 18th, on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Who thought an Xbox One X owner like me would be the one to find out their tech couldn't handle it at all? Ahead of Crisis Remastered's release, Crytek promised that NVIDIA RTX GPUs on PCs would deliver hardware-based ray tracing support, while a proprietary software-based ray tracing solution would bring the same wizardry to Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro. The technology certainly sounded groundbreaking. Instead, the only thing it seemed to break was my console. It isn't that Crisis Remastered is slow, or badly rendered, or glitchy, it's utterly unplayable, even on its standard, quality-favoring settings. To be frank, Crisis Remastered may be the most broken game I've played this generation. Even a full reinstall, recommended by Crytek, didn't fix Crisis Remastered if anything, it made the issues worse. However, patience, combined with a make-do-and-mend attitude, eventually made the game work. Yet while Crytek plans to release a day one patch to iron out some known problems, its testers hadn't experienced the issues I had. As such, consider this a pre-review, of sorts. As a fan of the original, I obviously want a playable version of this as much as the next person but I literally can't play it right now. I might be the only one having these issues, too, but I'd risk a decent wager that I'm not. Crisis Remastered standard settings focus on quality, mode over, performance, and ray tracing, while HDR is turned off presumably to make it immediately playable for Xbox One and PS4 users. Naturally, if you have top-end consoles that can handle it, you'll want to try HDR and ray tracing. This proves to be a very big mistake. Within the first few seconds of the campaign, I thought my own memories of Crisis had failed me, the first cutscene felt more like high art than anything else, odd but strangely beautiful patterns, and an off-center camera, gave the impression of a major threat being unearthed on a North Korean island. But then I found myself in the plane, and the effect continued, each of my fellow soldiers was split into three, as if I'd downed a bottle of whiskey and then concussed myself with the empty bottle. But it's only a cutscene, right? Surely it's a minor issue that can be fixed down the line, and that snap into gameplay will put all these weird problems to bed? Nope. As soon as I landed on the island, Crisis Remastered continued this disastrous visual effect. Looking down the sights gave double vision, the right and bottom borders pulled in and out, even as he had stayed resolute, textures evaporated, turning smoke into shimmering glass.